If you're worried about your Huawei phone's privacy, here's what you need to know. Suppose that your Huawei phone is spying on you. How would you respond? In fact, several intelligence organizations, including those in the United States, believe this to be the case. 1. The Huawei Controversy Fast Facts At a Senate Intelligence Committee hearing in early 2018, the heads of six key U.S. intelligence organizations issued a warning. They emphasized that U.S. citizens shouldn't utilize any commercial goods supplied by Chinese businesses Hawaii and ZTE. There was no substantial proof, according to tech journalists, that Hawaii and other Chinese firms were engaging in any secretive or deliberate breach of privacy. Hawaii smartphones on the other hand, have risen to prominence in recent breaches in cybersecurity allegations and concerns in European countries. In 2012, Australia's telecommunications network came under assault after a software update with malicious malware was loaded on their Hawaii equipment. An event only made public in 2021. The breach was verified by two dozen former national security officials in both the United States and Australia between 2012 and 2019. 2. Government's Warnings The use of Hawaii technology in telecommunications and governmental activities is being restricted by some states. By 2027, Sweden and the United Kingdom will no longer allow telecom firms to use Hawaii equipment on their 5G networks. According to Lithuanian and Estonian cybersecurity specialists, Hawaii's network equipment should be avoided starting in 2021. Two Chinese Hawaii workers were refused entry to Canada by an immigration officer at the Hong Kong Embassy in 2016. According to the embassy, espionage evidence was hidden from public view. 3. The Political Economy of Hawaii According to FBI Director Chris Ray, who testified before the Senate Intelligence Committee in 2018, the nexus between Chinese corporations and the Chinese Communist Party is a major source of worry. Nothing the corporation or its investors can do prevents the Communist Party from inserting itself into corporate legislation. Chinese intelligence agencies may get access to customer data in the West if Hawaii acquires a significant portion of telecom's market share in the West. All communications from such devices might be intercepted or shut off. In light of this, the Pentagon has purportedly decided to prohibit the sale and use of Hawaii and ZTE smartphones on U.S. military installations. Ren Zhengfei, the CEO and founder of Hawaii, was a member of the Communist Party of China since 1978. The Chinese People's Liberation Army also had a high-ranking engineer in him, Pla. More than 100 Chinese smartphones were infected with third-party software developed by Shanghai. Adopts technology in 2016. This malware sent data from Chinese servers back to the user's computers. Obtaining trade secrets from Western corporations may even be more important to the Chinese government than maintaining national security. According to some. 4. Mass surveillance is a threat to your privacy. The typical user isn't only at risk from Chinese products when it comes to privacy and security. There's NSA snooping, Facebook privacy issues, and continual phishing risks. Personal data and information, even if you're not directly active in the government, may still have a significant impact on the world. It's unsettling to consider that yet another government may be eavesdropping on your conversations and online activities. It's practically hard for the average user to detect the spyware since it's built straight into the firmware. 5. Protect your privacy. 
It's a good idea to stay away from cell phones produced in China. Do not overlook the numerous additional steps you must take to ensure the protection of your personal information. Switching to more secure software and services is also a good idea. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel. Visit csexams.com for many free cybersecurity certifications practice tests.